teacher's bell. Where learning rings a bell. Good day, everyone! Welcome to Science 3 Device K-12 Curriculum, Quarter 3, Week 8, Day 1. Sending messages using hand and body movements. Learning objective. By the end of the lesson, learners should be able to Describe how hand or body movements can send messages. Activating prior knowledge. Have you ever waved your hand to say hello? Can we send messages without talking? What do you think she is saying? Let's see. Mm -hmm. She is waving or maybe she's saying hello. How about this one? She's pointing at something. Maybe that way. She's nodding. Means she's agreeing. We can send messages using movements even without words. Today, we will learn how hand and body movements called gestures help us communicate messages. We will also see how gestures are important when using light, like signals or signs. Lesson Language Practice Unlock difficulties in understanding the following terms and concepts. Our first word is gesture. Gesture. G-E-S-T-U-R-E. -E. Gesture. It is a hand or body movement used to show meaning. It's like waving to say hello. Next is communicate. Communicate. C O M M U N I C A T E. Communicate. Communicate is to share ideas or feelings with others using words, signs, or movements. Next is message. Message. M E S S. A G E message. It is what you want to tell someone, like stop, come here, or thank you. Lesson language practice. Complete the sentence using the words communicate, message, and gesture. Are you ready? Okay, one. A blank is a hand or body movement that shows meaning. The answer is yes, guess true. Two, we use gestures to block with others. Communicate. Last is a gesture sends a blank without speaking. The answer is yes, message. Good job. People can communicate messages using hand or body movements called gestures. Gestures helps us understand each other. Even without words, it is useful in light signals, signs, and daily situations. Why are gestures important? Can you see the picture? Yes, it helps us communicate when it is noisy. It helps. 
helps us send messages from far away. It is used in traffic signs like this traffic enforcer saying stop. In light signals, in crossing the pedestrians, and for asking for help during emergencies. We have Filipino gestures and their meanings. Are you ready to see them? Okay. Can you guess what is this? Yes, it is Pagmamano. So, Pagmamano shows respect and asks for a blessing from elders. Another one, what is this? Yes, it's Pagnuso. So, sometimes we use this to point to something or someone without using our hands. Another one is, how about this? It's like lagot ka. Tree is waving index finger back and forth. It's your in trouble. Warn someone or shows disapproval. Another one is, how about this? Ang pogi ko. Yes, it is index finger and thumb form an L shape. It is saying, I'm handsome or beautiful. It complements someone's look. How about this one? This is handshaking. So it shows greetings, friendship, or agreement. Another one is this is a waving hand. So it says, hello, or it may say, goodbye. This one, raise palm facing forward means, stop. Yes, it tells someone to stop. How about this one, okay? This one means, come. Yes, it's beckoning hand. Fall down. It calls someone to come closer. How about this one? This means, approved. Yes, it's thumbs up, which means approval or agreement. How about this one? Shh. Pointing finger over mouth means quiet. Yes, it asks others to stay quiet. Deepening understanding of the key idea. So how can gestures help us communicate in the dark? We can use light with gestures to send messages. Why are gestures important when it is noisy? People can still understand the message without hearing. Making Generalizations and abstractions. Okay, let's complete the sentence. One, hand and body movements are called blank. Yes, gestures. Two, gestures help us blank or blank messages. It's send or communicate. Three, we do not always need blank to communicate. It's 
Words, yes, we do not always need words to communicate and we can use gestures. Okay, evaluating learning. Are you ready? Alright, direction. Choose the correct answer. What do we call hand movements that send messages? A sound, B gesture, C light. The answer is B gesture. Waving your hand usually means blank. A. Stop. B. Hello. C. No. The answer is B. Hello. Three. What gestures tell someone to stop? A. Thumbs up. B. Raised palm. C. Nodding. The answer is B. Raised palm. 4. What does communicate mean? A. To sleep. B. To share ideas or messages. C. To run fast. The answer is correct. B. To share ideas or messages. Pagmamano is a Filipino gesture used to show blank. A. Anger B. Respect C. Fear The answer is Yes! B. Respect! Good job, kids! Great job! Teacher's bell We're learning rings a bell